You know what I want to know is how many people are going to dress like this for their Men in Black reviews, because you know that's going to be a thing, and rightfully so. In any case, let's do this. Men in Black 3. Alright, so after about, I believe it's been 10 years since Men in Black 2 came out, now we get Men in Black 3. And again, you have Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, they work for the Men in Black, and I love the concept of Men in Black, it's just really cool. Whenever there's a UFO or alien interaction, these Men in Black swoop in, they zap your brain, you forget all about it. They're information control for aliens among people. Now, I really enjoyed the first Men in Black movie, I just thought it was really cool, you know, you kind of fall into it, it's a short-ass movie, but you're like, yeah, a lot of fun. Second movie was not as good. Now we get to the third movie and how is it for the first part of the movie i was like all right i've seen all this before this is clearly forced after 10 years you're just hoping that the movie's gonna be better than what it is it's just cheap jokes will smith all being will smithish because you know they're like hey you be will smithish and he's like all right i can do that I, I built a career on being will smithish so easy enough but it lost its fun factor it lost a bit of its flavor of what i liked about men in black but i suppose because men in black's no longer new then after 20 minutes going all right yeah 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 here we are men in black three it's not as good as i want it to be tommy lee jones gets erased from time then will smith has to go back to 1969 and that's when the movie picks up and that's when i actually had fun with it and liked it because we have young tommy lee jones played by josh brolin and quite frankly josh brolin just kills as tommy lee jones i, I think he's actually young tommy lee jones it's like young tommy lee jones got a delorean gunned it to 88 now he's like oh wow look at me i'm an actor that's cool maybe i'll just stay in this time and become another actor i will name myself josh brolin that makes sense but i liked him as young agent k because he's not as jaded as old agent k is i mean he still has that I didn't know my name's like kind of vibe about him but he still smiled in a couple scenes it's like he still enjoyed life I liked seeing that it's like everything I loved about old agent K mixed with a new young agent K in fact it's not like that that is exactly what it is. I don't know why I said like. And when Will Smith went back in time, it brought me back to what I liked about Men in Black 1, which is ultimately the pop culture references and technology. And they're funny in 1969 because it's the Men in Black tech in 1969. So you have some laughs there. And the baddie in Men in Black 3 is the guy from Flight of the Concords. I don't know his name because I'm, I have never seen Flight of the Concords. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just know the guy's in it and he doesn't sound like him, but you gotta admit when you see him, you're like, holy shit, it's the alien ghost specter of Macho Man Randy Savage. Every time he was on screen i just want him to be like i got you for three minutes three minutes of playtime let me do a slim jim oh yeah it just made me laugh dude looks like randy savage i liked it other than that though he doesn't stand out as the villain when i think about men in black 3 i don't think of the villain at all i think of will smith and josh brolin that's the men in black 3 movie and there's this other alien i liked who he could see probabilities he ultimately sees every scenario that could happen but i liked him there's something about his little dumb smile that i was like yeah he's cool i'd hang out with that dude by the end of the movie the way it wraps Wraps up, I was like, I'm not quite buying everything about this movie. But in the end, I did have fun. Will Smith and Josh Brolin, great chemistry. I like them both. I like their characters. I like the tech humor in this movie. If you're a fan of Men in Black, you're gonna enjoy Men in Black 3. Get past the first 20 minutes of the movie, and then you're gonna have a good time. In fact, a good time, no alcohol required. Ooh, yeah. Is it as good as you want it to be after a 10 year wait? Probably not, but it's still a fun movie. Kick your feet back, enjoy the ride. So if you've seen the Men in Black movies, what's your favorite Men in Black movie? I, right now you have one and two, but if you've seen three, one, two, and three. Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. I have no neuralizer, otherwise I'd neuralize you guys. If I did have the device that does look substantially like a neuralizer, I'd be concerned. Ways of opportunity? Maybe, but in the end, just gonna punch the screen.